So, I've brought some facts. The pandemic created at least 40 new far big pharma billionaires. Pharmaceutical corporations like Moderna and Pfizer made $1,000 of profit every second from the COVID-19 <laughs> vaccine. More than well. two-thirds of Congress received campaign funding from pharmaceutical companies in the 2020 election. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. We never stop working, even during the weekend. And we tweeted out this incredible clip. And we don't say that often about Bill Maher, but this incredible clip of legend Russell Brand ending the career of an NPC lobotomized MSNBC host, a guy named John Heidelman, who just looks like human testicle there. Even Bill Maher is doubling over because human uh, uh, leukemia testicle looking guy uh, has just absolutely gotten his career wrecked by Russell Brand, leading to headlines like this. Russell Brand's searing rant against propagandist MSNBC goes viral and they use our tweet to say that it went viral. Well, it did go viral. 12 million views, 109 thousand likes uh and 85,000 retweets 20,000 retweets twitter's doing its weird little thing where it reduces the number of retweets 20,000 retweets on this thing 109,000 likes what is russell brand saying to this uh to this guy and why did it go so viral well one it went viral because russell brand is himself quite famous russell brand has been in a lot of Big time movies, pictures. He's been part of culture for quite a while. Russell Brand's largest uh, movie features have been uh, Arthur, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I saw that one. Get Him to the Greek. Didn't see that one. The Rock of Ages. But I personally love Dr. Nefario from Despicable Me. Did you know that? Did you know he was Dr. Nefario from. <laughs> Gru's little sidekick guy that's always working with the minions. This is great. I had no idea. I had no idea that Russell Brand voiced this character. It was very cool looking at it. Jumping over here to Russell Brand's Wikipedia. I may not be a Buddhist, but even I can really appreciate, and I saw it this weekend, enlightenment. This is what Russell Brand brought to the show, and this is why that clip went viral. Enlightenment. Brand was selected by the Dalai Lama to host the Buddhist Leaders 2012 Youth Event in Manchester. The Dalai Lama said that Russell Brand proved he had the power to spiritually affect and change his own life. He is the living incarnation of Buddha. Huh? Wait, what? So that's what the Dalai Lama is saying about Russell Brand. What does that look like on display here on the Bill Maher Show? Well, what it looks like is an absolute flamethrower of truth into the face of disgraced, despicable journalist John Heidelman, who has sacrificed all of his journalistic credentials in order to surgically attach his lips to the of the Democrat Party, and he just got wrecked for it when Russell brought true truth through it right in his face in the a way only an enlightened Buddhist could. I've not known you long, but I love you already. But I have to say that it's it's disingenuous <laughs> to claim that the biases that are exhibited on Fox News are any different from the biases exhibited on MSNBC. It's difficult to suggest that's, that's... that these corporations operate as anything other than mouthpieces for their affiliate owners in BlackRock and Vanguard. And, and unless we start to embrace, and, and also, mate, like just spiritually, if I may use that word in your great country, we have to take responsibility for our own perspective. I, I've been on that MSNBC, yeah, mate. It was right. propagandist nutcrackery. Yeah. You know, I went on the show called Morning Joe. Yeah. It was absurd the way they carried Good on. Good morning, Joe. Yes. Yeah, it, I don't it. know what it was. It wasn't morning. There was no one called Joe there. No one could concentrate. They didn't understand the basic tenets of journalism. No one was willing to stick up for genuine American heroes uh, like Edward Snowden. No one was willing to talk about Julian Assange and what he suffered trying to bring real journalism to the American people. And I think to sit within the castle of MSNBC throwing rocks oh. at Fox News is ludicrous. My friend. Make MSNBC my friend. better. My Make friend. MSNBC my great friend. again. My friend, I would love... I would... <laughs> oh, man. I lost it with the Make MSNBC great again line. So calling this man a propagandist, which he well deserves, he deserves to be called many worse things, uh, is... Very justified. Russell Brand blasted leftist news network MSNBC for its propaganda nutcrackery in a searing rant on Saturday, which went viral. 
the popular broadcaster uh, Real Time with Bill Maher. Saturday, when he was accused fellow guest John Heidelman, uh, a political analyst for MSNBC and NBC of hypocrisy for attacking rival outfits. I have to say it's disingenuous to claim the biases are exhibited on Fox News or any different than that of MSNBC. I've been on MSNBC, mate. It's a propaganda nutcrackery on there. <laughs> Russell Brand talking about his two, 2013 appearance on Morning Joe. Man. So John Heidelman said, hey, why don't you tell me a lie that's been on MSNBC and Russell Brand came with the receipts? Do you want an example? Do yeah, you want an example? Yes. The ludicrous, outrageous criticisms of Joe Rogan around Ivermectin, re deliberately referring to it as a horse not, medicine. Yeah, that, that's what not a bad example. Rachel Maddow turning up on the TV not, saying, if you take well, this vaccine, you're not going to get it, when it can't be clinically trial for transition. You have to listen. Wait, Do you think you can improve response. America I by determinately and avowedly condemning Fox News without acknowledging that you're participating in the same game? I Did you not just listen to Bernie <laughs> Sanders, someone who plainly legitimately believes in this country and believes it's possible to change but is bound by corruption is bound by the lobbying system surely it's clear to you bill as one of the great pundits and experts and comic voices that systemic change is required money has to be taken out of politics we need new political systems that genuinely represent ordinary americans so that we can overcome cultural differences Man, not the only receipts that Russell brought. He brought the receipts of money in politics. Oh, and it was scorching. Would you? <laughs> if you'd like, uh, they're uh, actually. You just, you just get the fuck out of here. This is not the place. I don't like facts. No, no, no I, we do. No, we like they, facts. I love facts. I wouldn't have mentioned it. I'm English, and you know that politeness is our fundamental religion. Um, yeah. <laughs> but they do pertain to this issue. So may I say something? Please, them? please. If they please inconvenience you, you I'll, I'll stop saying them. The pandemic created at least 40 new far, big pharma billionaires. Pharmaceutical corporations like Moderna and Pfizer made $1,000 of profit every second from the COVID-19 <laughs> vaccine. More than well. two-thirds of Congress received campaign funding from pharmaceutical companies in the 2020 election. Pfizer chairman Albert Baller told Time magazine in July 2020 that his company was developing a COVID vaccine for the good of humanity, not for money. And of course, Pfizer made a hundred billion dollars okay. in profit right. in 2022. Right. And may I just mention that finally, and these are, this is also a fact, that you, the American public, funded the development of that. The German fund, public funded the BioNTech vaccine. When it came to the profits, they took the profits. When it came to the funding, you paid for the funding. Man, Russell Brand. I mean, again, dropping complete and total truth bombs. That no, I mean, even Bill Maher is starting to cut it. He's like, okay, wait a second. You can't, you, there's only so much we can take. This truth enema, it hurts. Oh, man, it does. When you go over, I don't like to use disgraced political fact, but check this out. They have the latest fact checks on Rachel Maddow. This just goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. The fact checks on Rachel Maddow, MSNBC, Yet again, broadcast blatant lies, this time about Bernie Sanders' opening speech and refuses to correct them. This from The Intercept, Glenn Greenwald, talking about how they lie about Bernie because Bernie is not one of them. And what is this? Allsides.com, All Sides determines the media bias rating, and they determine that MSNBC is far extreme, breaking the needle virtually left. Far extreme left, really breaking the needle off MSNBC. They're so, they're, they're so far extreme left. MSNBC spreads a false story about Capitol officers' deaths. MSNBC self-proclaimed bias. MSNBC audience makeup 2014. Guys, MSNBC is an absolute and complete and total dumpster fire. Do not allow them to say otherwise. They are gaslighting you. There are very few places where you can get actual truth. Corporate media has been utterly purchased and bought lock, stock, and barrel by evil companies like Pfizer, one of the last remaining independent and true voices in the media is Joe Rogan. Russell Brand was on his show 
was spitting extra facts about the corruption endemic in our system. But how can you have energy companies that profit when there's an energy crisis, military industrial complex that profits when it's a war, pharmaceutical companies that profit when there's a pandemic? You're creating the necessity for ongoing crisis. Yes. If the elites in the society benefit from situations that are detrimental to everybody else, that's what reality is going to become. That's what exactly. reality has become. That's such an important point because that's almost undeniable. And, and, and to say that they wouldn't do that because they value human life and morals and ethics over profit, that's never been exer right. exhibited. That's not true. That's not a true statement. No, the, the opposite is true. The opposite is provable. The opposite yeah. is provable, whether it's Halliburton or whether it's pharmaceutical companies or whether it's politicians or bankers, the, the opposite has always been true, that, prof, that we are profit driven. And especially if they can find some sort of way to justify these horrific acts, some in some way, shape or form, they could have this diffusion of responsibility where it's not their call or not their fault. They're part of a corporation. The corporation has to do this. And this is just what we do. You got to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. That's where we find ourselves. And um, the only way we're going to get out of this is if we, the, the collective all of us, that whether you're on the left or whether you're on, you're on the right, recognize this stupid game that people are playing. Recognize this hustle and don't get sucked into it. Yeah, don't get sucked into it. This is what's leading to headlines like this. Joe Rogan and Russell Brand mock left for condemning alternative to censorship as right wing. Again, both these men would not claim to be right wing. Uh, I believe that they are more like Tulsi, right? They'd be more like... Uh, it, what you would call a classic liberal, somebody who is simply open-minded. And it's led, of course, to a complete and total panicked meltdown of the institutional corporate left because now they have dissenting voices. And they are far more powerful than MSNBC, the entire lot on MSNBC combined. Joe Rogan is more powerful than, and they are terrified that these are the messages that he is delivering to our youth. The stuff you were being told two years ago now, the things you couldn't say online two or three years ago, now there's evidence for that. In fact, I've bought documentation in case the conversation went in this direction, Joe, in my new position as a legitimate investigative journalist. I've got actual <laughs> papers that I can show you from conspiracy to fact. Where well, the, the lab leak theory. No, that's the best one. The, the lab leak theory was openly considered racist yeah. and you'd be mocked, even though legitimate biologists, like when I had Brett Weinstein on my mm. podcast in April of 2020, he was saying back then, it, there's very clear evidence that this has come from a lab. And he explained it as a biologist who worked on coronaviruses from bats. <laughs> like, that's literally his expertise, his area of expertise. So he had a deep knowledge of this. And when he was describing it, the people were furious at him. They were demonetizing his YouTube videos and going after him and all these progressive people on the left. It's like, you, you're, you're falling into this whole alt-right Trump this and that. And like, they weren't even paying attention to an actual biologist who actually understands and has studied viruses. And he's saying this, this has all the indications of a lab created virus that we would work on. All of those conversations you were having, like Malone and McCullough yeah. and, and Weinstein, they, when you actually listen to what they're saying, they're talking from a biological perspective. They're scientists and they're doctors. Not, yeah. It's not political rhetoric. All. They're no. saying, I believe in this and this is how we should organize no. culture and these are the hierarchies that should be in place. So it was extraordinary that well, the, what they were met with was a politically and ideologically driven. Like that, At the beginning of it, it seemed like there was such an appetite to frame everything Trump was doing as ridiculous that you know, like they sort of Highlighted yeah. and framed Fauci saying, the, like, I think Trump said it could have come from a lab, and Fauci said that's ridiculous and it's yeah. implausible. And but like you know, like you said, Weinstein was like, oh no, you can't have that evolutionary step without the intervention of uh, yeah. of uh, like, without Thank engineering. You. So lab leak theory has now been proven. Lab leak theory is now confirmed. The federal agencies responsible for doing this kind of work have confirmed it, along with comedians like John Stewart. This is so plainly obvious. We've been telling people for three years that it was a lab leak and places like CNN covered for the regime because they wanted to attack Trump. Reports out from earlier today show that CEO Jeff Zucker banned reporters from investigating the lab leak or talking about it on air because he didn't want to give any more 
fuel to a Trump theory. Got it. Okay. So that leads to Colin Rugg on Twitter asking, hey, um, if CNN told their staff not to share COVID-19 lab leak theory due to it being a Trump talking point, uh, are you going to label CNN as state-affiliated media? Because that is precisely what they were doing, the work of the deep state. Good point. If an organization portrays itself as balanced but is not, it should be labeled to inform the public. Great point there from Elon. Great points here from Russell Brand and Joe Rogan. It's just absolutely BTFOing corporate media. It cannot happen soon enough. These people are disgraced. They are less than 5% of the American public trusts the media. That's how you know we have reached a crisis point and a panic time. Good for Russell Brand. Incredible that the voice of Dr. Nefario is the one to be actually bringing truth. This is Little did we know this would be the one scientist that we should trust here, ladies and gentlemen. You can trust us, however, to always be delivering truth to you. We will fight alongside you to save America. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching our channels here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.